Hello everybody, welcome to the item breakdown on ProBuddy. If you like this type of content, let me know down below. And without further ado, let's get this bad boy started, shall we? Today, we're going to be going over all of the basic and starter items and all of the epic items. There's a lot of them, as well as all of the legendary items. And you guessed it, last but not least, the mythic items. There's a whole bunch to go over, so let's get her started. So, when we're doing the rundown of all these items, we're going to have a little color code system to help us understand what's going on. Okay, green. That's where only a few basic uh, stats got changed. Yellow. This means it is, uh, it's gained new stats or a few more impactful changes. Orange, this is where things are getting pretty serious. There are major changes to the item or it could be a rework. And red, okay, this is new item, new everything, something we haven't seen before. And uh, you'll understand what I'm talking about in a second. So let's start with the basic and starter items because if you don't understand these, it's gonna be nearly impossible to understand what's to come. BZ's helping us out with this video. So go ahead and color coordinate the items in the basic and starter area. Bada bing, bada boo. Alrighty, like I said, everything that is not highlighted in the color is the same as what you guys are familiar with. For example, this is the new dagger icon. I hate it. I miss the old one. Rest in pepperoni. So first and foremost, Cloak of Agility. It has less critical strike on the item, which is going to help us understand the zeal items come down the road. Next up, Doran's Blade. Gives health and heals you for 3% of the damage dealt. Keep in mind that's not lifesteal, that's damage dealt. Tier, you can start with it now. Super cool, super nice. It's gonna be uh, real nice stacking it up. It only goes up to 450 mana, and you also have to hit somebody with your ability to actually get the stack from it. So, giant change there. Doran's Ring gives mana, but if you don't have mana, it'll give you health instead, which is super nice. Support items, you get a little bit more gold. The jungle items, the way this works is, once you smite five times, you consume the item, leaves your inventory, but you keep the stats from it, and you also keep the chilling smite or challenging smite. And last but not least, Dark Seal Aruski. It no longer gives mana, it gives health instead, and we're AFK. And a change you may not have noticed with this bad boy, it no longer gives the extra duration or whatnot on the potions. So, big change for Singed players and people who utilized that bad boy. Moving on to the epic items, here we go. But before we dive into this, we're gonna need to learn how the new cooldown reduction works, okay? In season 10, cooldown reduction. Season 11, ability haste. Take a look at Lost Chapter, for example. 10 ability haste. So, be easy to go ahead and pull up this cute little graph that will better help us understand what's going on. For example, 50% cooldown reduction in season 10 is equivalent to 100 ability haste in season 11. Let's talk about some breakpoints that you guys might better understand. 45% CDR is right here, which is equivalent to 82% ability haste over here. And something you guys may be familiar with, I know I am, 80% cooldown reduction way up here is equivalent to 400 ability haste way over here. And as you guys can see by the graph, it is much easier for Riot Games to balance around ability haste rather than CDR. And something super cool about season 11 is ability haste is not capped whatsoever. It's just limited by the six items you can buy. So if you play your cards right, you can get somewhat close to 70 cooldown reduction. Check out my Lux video, or Pete, check out my Lux video. Now that we somewhat understand how that works, let's jump back into the items. Toss up the color key on the left and highlight the items. Like I said, green, not so much different. Probably won't touch on it too much. Yellow, bit bigger of a change. Orange, much bigger. Red, completely new. So first orange item on the list, Mage Epic Temp. That's what this bad boy is called. And it now gives Omni Vamp, which is Spell Vamp and Lifesteal. Had a baby. Hold up. I just realized this is actually just a placeholder for the name. It's not actually called, okay, you know what? I, I feel like an idiot. Next up, Wicked Hatchet. So this could be a little replacement for a BF sword and it gives a little bit of attack speed on top. By the way, if anything is pink on the inside here on any of these items, it means their ability icon is likely to change. 
and they also added 20 physical damage to minions and monsters on top, which will help you last hit. Void Crystal, totally new ability power and magic pen, super strong. The new Tiamat, this now doesn't have an active and it cleaves the ground every single time you attack. Spell Shroud, totally new item. This is like the Zeker's Arm Guard when you reverse mage matchups. That's the thing that builds into an hourglass. You get a little bit of stacking MR over time. Super nice. Kama, this is the new Tiamat that actually has an active that cleaves the ground. You know what? Screw it. Let's buy it because ranged champions can buy it. Here we are. Boop. <laughs> What do you guys think? What do you think? Next up, Phage. Instead of giving you move speed, it actually heals you every time you auto an enemy champion. Super cool, super dope. Next up, Dagger plus attack speed. This is a component that's going to build into other bigger items. And this is what Phage was, aka it took over its old responsibilities. And I'll go through the last red ones real quick because I know you guys want to get to the legendary mythic items. On hit knife, cute little item, builds into rage blade. Mythic glass gives ability haste. Base mana regen, completely new item. Oblivion orb, now you can have grievous wounds on a very cheap item for an AP champion. Super nice to have before they had to build Morellos to get any anti-heal, which sucked. Last but not least, eternal drive, gives health and move speed. Sweet, let's move on to the legendaries. Wait, 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 we forgot about the shit. It no longer gives mana, but has the same effect from before. All right, now for the legendaries. The legendaries. There's a lot of colors, so prepare your eyeballs. Toss them up in three, two, one. Yup. That's a lot. That's a lot. So, death cap. It's yellow because it costs more and it's even worse. But let's talk about something a little more juicy. The new Infinity Edge. Gain an additional 8% critical strike damage per 20% critical strike chance. So, early on, this is gonna be worse. But come later on, it's gonna be even better. So no longer uh, first item IE, it's a more down the road item. Next up, Navori Quick Blade, AKA what I like to call it, Spear Sojin, baby. Your critical strikes with attacks reduce your non-ultimate ability cooldowns by 20% of their remaining cooldown. So keep that in mind. If your basic ability has a 100 second cooldown, you auto attack and crit, it's going down to 80 seconds. But if you're at a 10 second cooldown in auto attack, it's only going down to eight seconds. So you see the difference there? The lower the cooldown, the less OP it actually is. Nevertheless, broken item, this is gonna be nuts. Next up, Cyrilda's Grudge. This is like the Rylize Crystal Scepter for 80 carries. If Caitlyn launches out a Q, it will now slow enemies by 30% for one second. Pretty cool, gives armor pin, cooldown, attack damage, dope. Next up, Blood Thirster. You guys may be familiar with this, but it now gives critical strike chance. Super cool. A little bit of less AD as well. Black Cleaver. This one is crazy, okay? Dealing physical damage to an enemy reduces their armor, blah, 4%, blah, 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 up to six times. You guys know that part. But Carve. Your damaging abilities and attacks against enemies you fully shredded deal bonus physical damage equal to 5% of their missing health. That is now crazy. Once you have fully shred someone, you will shred them even more for any other attacks you do to them. Tiamat plus Hydra, no more active. This is gonna suck if you're trying to auto cancel on some fancy schmancy champions, so rest in pepperonis. Gargoyle Stone Plate. Gain a shield that decays over 2.5 seconds. It scales with health and strength of stone. Once you use it, you will also get armor and MR depending on how many champions you're next to for six seconds. So very important active, use it wisely. It'll save your life over and over again. But it no longer doubles your HP like crazy, which you've seen in the past, like with Cho'Gath and Yunnan. Flashback. Check this out. Check this out. <laughs> My ear hurts so bad, it looks like I'm dead, but I am not. That's a lot of people. Yeah, that's out of the game completely. Lord Dominic's regards. Now you can melt tanks and crit at the same exact time, and you can deal up to 20% bonus physical damage against champions with more HP than you. When the opponent has more than 2,000 health than yourself, then you're gonna deal the whole 20% bonus physical damage to them. Bork, it's the same thing, but very new at the same time, all right? Active, completely gone. Attacking a champion three times now deals magical damage and steals 25% move speed for two seconds. The cooldown on this is 20 seconds. Ma of Malmoriatatas. I didn't even know how to say this in back in season 10. 
but the shield now scales with health which is super cool the new death stance this item is red because it is extremely different but same in a way okay you ignore pain aka 35 percent if you're melee 15 percent if you're ranged and it gets dealt to you over three seconds that's the same but if you kill the champion that damaged you all that damage that's gonna take on you is no longer in effect and you get a little triumph proc to heal you back up after you kill them pretty cool pretty sweet they also took off the mr of this item and you no longer heal dealing damage to enemies well technically you heal if you get a kill so i mean different item let me know what you think about it i'm gonna miss the old one not gonna lie but this is an insane 1v5 item because if you start killing everyone they will not be dealing damage back to you sort of kind of so new steric gauge you get a stacking health regen and then once you get low in the shield proc same as before the more stacks you had the bigger you get wits and hello hello gives ad and your basic attacks deal the on hit magic damage and grant you 20 percent move speed for two seconds super cool super good great item archangel staff this is quite the big one because if you're too lazy to stack you can just buy this Seraphs for a total of 6k. Oh my goodness. Once it's stacked, 5% of your bonus mana will go to ability power. And part of your ability power will go to your mana. It no longer gives CDR, so that's an interesting one. And there is no longer a shield on this item. Wah, wah, wah. The Collector. I literally thought the game was broken when I originally bought this. Uh, you'll see what I'm talking about. Flashback. Oh, uh, guys, I think I already found an issue. <laughs> yeah, pretty meme-tastic and great for securing kills. Silver Weave Leg Plates. This is another option for a QSS upgrade. You can either go the Mercurial Scimitar route or this bad boy and get attack damage, health, magic resist, all the above. And keep in mind, once you use it, you're going to gain 40% tenacity and 40% slow resistance for three seconds, which is different from Mercurial Scimitar. It's this one, same as before. Cosmic Drive, AKA the Walnut, because it looks like a walnut. But you hit a champion with one of your abilities, gain some move speed, super cool. It gives a lot of ability haste. If you're liking CDR or you want CDR, buy this item. Believe it or not, this is now the Lich Bane. Wow. <clears throat> Yeah, no longer gives cooldown reduction or ability haste, but it still builds out of the same things. Just remember, Sheen no longer has the mana. Demonic Embrace. This is going to put a little dot on everyone you touch with your abilities, and for while the dot is on an enemy, you gain armor and MR for it. Super cool. I think this is going to be an insane item. Nashers got buffed. Rylai's, same thing. Gwinsu's Rage Blade. Oh boy. Attacks deal 40 magical damage on hit. Attacks deal 40 magical damage on hit per 20% critical strike chance. But once you buy this item, you can no longer critically strike. So interesting. You also don't have to stack up the Rage Blade to get the Gwinsu's Chaos. Every third attack applies on hit effects twice. So your critical strike is good for buying this, but it's also useless at the same time. Very interesting item. I think this is going to be insane on champions like Kog'Ma, where you sometimes buy critical strike, but don't really use it that much. It'll be better used on this. This one's super cool. Horizon Focus. This item is crazy. If you deal damage to someone over 750 range away from you, you will reveal them for six seconds and deal 10% more damage to them for six seconds. So think about like a Caitlyn Q into a Caitlyn Ultimate. Super cool, very niche. Except this is ability power. Okay, I take that back. So Phantom Dancer, rest in pepper into the shield, but they added where you actually get move speed now for your attacks. And if you attack five times, you get a whole lot more attack speed and check this out. Look what's back. Allows you to pass through other units. Sweet. This is gonna be very strong on champions like Fiora. New Force of Nature. It doesn't have crazy in combat health regen like we know oh so long ago. Shout out to you season one, season two players. But taking ability damage grants you six move speed plus magic resist and it stacks up to five times. Guys, I don't know if you've been paying attention, but there are a few singed items in here that are going to make him beyond broken. I am not looking forward to that. Essence Reaver, having you... 
Essence Reaver. After using an ability, your next basic attack deals an additional physical damage and restores 3% of your maximum mana. So, you no longer get 3% on every auto. You gotta weave in abilities to go along with it. Hence, it builds out of Sheen. This item, super cool, Serpent's Fang. And we're AFK again. You deal 300% additional damage to shields. Rest in Pepperoni Lulu. Goodbye, Janna. A lot of people are going to fall in love with this item. Let me tell you that. Mortal reminder, what you want to take away from this is the Grievous Wounds. It actually gets stronger. Dealing three consecutive attacks to an enemy enhances the Grievous Wounds and ramps it up from 40% to 60%. So the anti-heal is getting serious. This is the new build path for it. It does not give armor penetration. It's just a pure damage, crit, anti-heal item. And another Grievous Wounds option. They are giving you options on options. Rito does no longer want... And another Grievous Wound option. Rito does not want anyone to build the same item over and over again every single game. 40%. But if they're below 50% HP, that is increased to 60% with the different option for the base stats on the item, aka health and ability haste. Mikhail's Crucible. I'm not sure if this is bugged right now because it has the same wording as QSS and the active literally says Quicksilver Gift. Like I said, I'm, I'm not sure if it will cleanse a Malzahar ult or a Skarner ult. I think it does. Only time will tell. If it does, this item will be insane. But check this out, Staff of Flowing Water. This is like uh, similar to an Arden Sensor, but for an AP carry instead of an AD carry. You give them move speed and ability power for three seconds. Super cool, I love it. Also, another Grievous Wounds option for supports. If you stun someone, it's up to 60% Grievous Wounds. Rito's given literally everyone an option to stop healing. For you Silas and Vladimir mains, I am very sorry about this. Last but not least, this little bag. So, supports are gonna love this. You can buy this cute little pouch, and it'll hold your pink wards for you. You can store up to three control wards, and once you get to the highest rank, you can actually place two control wards at the same time vision control now the moment you have all been waiting for the mythic items look at all of these in all their glory they're so broken you can only buy one of them at a time where do we even begin they're all different no color coding for this one just to give you guys a little taste on how broken this stuff actually is, uh, Larandry's super OP burn, but uh, pay attention to the mythic passive. Grant all other legendary items five ability haste. If you're not sure how strong that is, take a look at this. Guys, welcome to Earth, baby. They took it away temporarily because they want to test out how these items actually look, and they don't want to get a random read with Earth going on, but uh, let's just say Earth is back, baby. <laughs> it's up soon. The scary thing is, we can get even more CDR. Yeah, these are gonna be huge. This one gives magic pen. This one gives more ability power. This is move speed. This is attack speed. You're gonna wanna synergize this with your champion very well. But let's run through the actual items. Your spells cause enemies to burn for 60 plus 4% of their maximum health over four seconds. And, and you shred their magic resist by 5% per second for four seconds up to 25%. That's a whole lot of shred. Not Luden's Echo, but Luden's Tempest. Imagine Luden's Echo on steroids. Damaging an enemy with an ability now pops out the little bink, hits up to three targets, and it also gives you move speed as well for three seconds, and it's on an eight second cooldown, grants all other legendary items five magic penetration. This is nutty. Everfrost, deal 100 magic damage in a cone, slowing enemies by 65% for 1.5 seconds. Enemies at the center of the rooted, oh my goodness. Let's, let's buy this and give it a shot. So this is the cone, this is what it looks like. Let's go use it on these minions. Hello, cannon minion. How you doing? We're 80 minutes in, no problem. Coming at you. What in the, I just Lissandra W'd and also this inhibitor is going down. <laughs> That's pretty cool though. That's pretty cool. Gale Force is going to change the game for good, okay? Dash in a target direction, firing three missiles to the lowest health enemy nearby, prioritizing champions. Let's just put this baby to good use. All right, we already bought it. Check out the dash. Keep in mind, I'm playing Jinx. I'm W. 
I'm Ian. And skirt skirt. That dash is basically a flash on top of it. It's gonna be nuts. Giving mobility to immobile champions is gonna be interesting to say the least. But keep in mind that this isn't the most broken thing on the planet because you cannot dash over walls. That would be a little too far. Next up, Kraken Slayer. Every third attack is enhanced, dealing an additional 125 true damage. Also, 10% attack speed for all the legendaries you have. Pretty crazy. This is gonna melt some tanks, that's for sure. So since PD lost its shield, take a look at this. When taking damage that would reduce you below 30% health, gain a 500 shield for three seconds. <laughs> In addition, gain 20% lifesteal for eight seconds. Wow. The base stats on it aren't too shabby as well. This is a uh, survive burst type item. All other legendaries give you armor and MR2. That's nuts. Assassins are going to hate it when carries by this. Trinity Force. They swapped up the base stats to go along with it. And now per attack, you gain base attack damage. Sheen proc, same thing as before. Basically, they've made this more bruiser focused. Gorge Drinker. This item is going to be nasty when you're low on HP. Deal 181 physical damage. Deal physical damage to nearby enemies, recovering 33 health plus 12% of your missing health for each champion hit. And uh, here's how this looks like. You press it in a circle like that. <laughs> you also gain 1% attack damage for each 5% of your missing health. So like I said, you're low on HP. This is going to be good. Olaf, I'm talking to you, buddy. Lunge a short distance, dealing physical damage to nearby enemies, slowing them by 60%. So let's see how the slow looks, shall we? Hey, Jana. How you doing? Let's go use it and pop. Interesting. You see the chains around her? Whoa, flashback. Dealing physical damage grants 20% move speed for two seconds, increased to 60 on unit kills. Pretty interesting. I like the move speed for the other legendary items. Divine Devour. After using an ability, your next attack deals bonus physical damage equal to 10% of the target's maximum health. Oh my goodness. This is an anti-tank item and a half. Imagine this on maybe even Ezreal with Q, auto, Q, auto, or Fiora, Q, auto, Q, auto. Tanks are going to cry. And Mythic Passive grants all of the legendary items 5% armor penetration. Wowzer. Stacking Sunfire Cape, aka Sunborn Aegis. So, plan on fighting a tank for a while. Don't stand on top of him for a while because you will die. Each second you're on top of him, it gets 12% stronger. The stacks up to six times. It's a doozy. And check this out. At maximum stacks, your attacks explode around you, burning nearby enemies. Wowzer. Now, let me show you guys the super belt, or should I say... Heztech Rocket Belt. Check it out. Skirt, skirt. Ooh, la la. Notice the damage on this. It no longer scales with AP, but the base damage is extremely high. 250 through 350. Buying this first item will be uh, pretty crazy. And after you use it, you get 75% move speed towards enemy champions for two seconds. So, great engage tool. Buy it, bop it, suck it. Aximix Folly, or however the heck you say that. For each second you're in combat, deal 3% bonus damage. Once this is stacked up all the way, 100% of that damage is converted into true damage. The stats along with it are very solid as well. Ability Haste, aka CDR. Omni Vamp, any type of damage you're dealing, and all legendaries will gain 5% magical penetration. Night Harvester. This is going to be your replacement for Heztech Gunblade because that is long gone. Damaging an enemy champion deals 150 through 250 magical damage. So, I was playing a game earlier and someone smited me, which procced Night Harvest, which then procced Dark Harvest. Basically, Smite did about 300 damage to me or 250 damage to me out of nowhere early game. It was pretty scary frost fire gauntlet all you need to know about this is each legendary item you buy you increase in size you get more health as well it's gonna be so sweet this is also like a frozen gauntlet as well so <laughs> this is definitely gonna be one of my favorite items if you're wondering why this cow is so big you know why berserker suit this is righteous glory along with a sunfire cape pretty interesting but if you want to run people down this could be a good choice for you this is going to be for supports 
Dust blade. Oh, my, okay. You know what? I, I have to buy this thing. I need to show you guys what Rito has done. Take a look at this. Once you get a kill, I will go invisible. Yep. I, Jinx, will go invisible for 1.5 seconds. I can walk around. I can reset. Basically, every champion is now vain with this item. I can't believe it. Eclipse. So this is an insanely strong bursty item. Hitting a champion with two separate attacks or abilities within 1.5 seconds deals bonus physical damage equal to 16% of their maximum health. It also grants you move speed. It also gives you a giant shield. And if you're melee, it's only on a six second cooldown. For range, it's going to be 12. Pretty freaking strong item, I'll tell you that. Prowler's Claw dash through a target enemy. Let's go put this to use. Janna, I'm coming on back. Check it out, check it out, check it out. Skirt. <laughs> Obviously in team fights that can be way more impactful, but it also reduces their armor by 30% for three seconds. Interesting. Last but not least, the mythic support items. Shirelius, you get move speed. And this also comes with an AOE Nami E, which is pretty sweet. Lock it, but it also has the Iron Aura effect. I don't know if you guys played back in the day, but supports literally became a lock it bot because they were forced to buy this item because it gave your carries, AKA everyone around you, armor and MR. So maybe that'll happen again, who knows. Moonstone Renewer, the last item we gotta go over, basically for long fights, and if you're an enchanter support, this is gonna be great for you, cause it's gonna make your heals and shields a whole lot stronger. And oh my goodness, that's a lot. Season 11 is going to be absolutely insane. Let me know what you guys thought about this video. And if you like this type of style of content, maybe we'll do something in the future shortly. But, I spent about eight hours reviewing all these items, thinking about which ones I want to talk about, which ones I don't. So if you guys would have, please, oh, please drop a fatty thumbs up if you made it to this point in the video. I trust that you will. And get ready for a tier list on certain classes coming soon. Let me know which tier lists you guys want to see, whether it's AD carry, mid lane, assassins, you name it, we got it coming. If you're not subscribed, smack the button for those. That'll be coming soon. I love you guys, and we'll see you soon. Peace out.